A massive volcanic eruption in Tonga almost two years ago could bring wet weather to eastern parts of Australia. The explosion is causing the ozone layer to break down over Antarctica, which in turn is impacting the weather here at home. Sky News weather meteorologist Rob Sharp explains. It was the biggest volcanic eruption in almost 140 years. A 15 metre tsunami hit Tonga and shockwaves were felt around the world. The explosion occurred underwater in the Pacific Ocean. Scientists estimating 146 gigalitres of water was propelled into the stratosphere. That is like launching almost 60,000 Olympic swimming pools worth of water to the cruising altitude of airplanes. Almost two years later, the impacts are still being felt. New research suggests water vapour from the explosion is breaking down the ozone layer. There is water in the stratosphere which usually is not there and, and water vapour um, helps with ozone destruction. In recent years, the hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica has become smaller. But right now, it's at a record size for the start of December. It is currently about the size of Antarctica, whereas usually around now it's almost gone. And what goes on over Antarctica impacts Australia's weather. When the ozone hole is larger, the cold wind swirling around Antarctica becomes stronger and can track further towards Antarctica, meaning that the cold fronts moving through the Southern Ocean are further away from Australia and the easterly winds become more dominant along the eastern seaboard, bringing in extra moisture. So from Christmas into the new year, there's a greater potential for wet weather spanning from Brisbane to Hobart and particularly for eastern New South Wales.